قولی که هم سر بل تو فیرون هم حیات دنیا و آخرت و خیر و مراد و خواه یو ریفر دی لایف آف دیس ورلد حیات دنیا Allah allowed believers to make their life in this world. He didn't say to live as ascetics. As an ayat said, to live, not to marry, not to have families, and to live in a uh, darga or monastery. He didn't order that, said the Allah. You have to make our lives. We have lived in dunya. But, Allah is saying that the life that we love that we prefer, <laughs> that's in front of our eyes, we tend to like that and think everything about that, and we leave our main target, which is out. Every soul has to face death. Anything that the Prophet said, born to die. Whoever is born into this world is going to pass away. And No one likes to think about it or to face it. We gave the example we heard of deer or antelope or whatever animal is to pray. We see the lion, the herd goes past, not to look. If it takes one, okay, but we keep going. <laughs> we hope not to be the one that the lion takes. But sooner or later, that lion has to get all of us. And prophets, all I said, as all prophets, 124,000 prophets, were advising their followers, look at the situation. You were born to die. You build for ruin. Whatever was built is now ruin. Whatever, whoever was born, they died. Prepare yourself for that. This life, no one knows how much time they have, long life or short life, may only give them a long, healthy, happy life. But that time preparing for Akhirah in so many different ways. To try to change our focus. Believer's uh, job is with himself or herself. Ibn Musa, Sheikh Muhyiddin, practice of Hadith Qudsi, uh, Musa, uh, he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh my Lord, what's the best thing we can do? What do you like from your servant? What kind of action? Allah answered him, Oh, Musa, I'm happy with my servant when they're looking after their own self. What concerns them? And what concerns us mainly is what we're going to prepare for after. Every one of us is going to be here a short time. A traveler driving, we stop in a rest area, you're not going to set up a tent or set up a building. <laughs> you take your things and move on. And we're all traveling through this life. We take what we need, but we know we have to move on. And the important, most important thing is to try to uh, fix the program in our minds to know, make ourselves to know and realize that we're travelers. We're travelers through this dunya and any time we might be called to go back where we came from. In the Lila, when someone passed away, they said, in the Lila, I did not raise it out here. And that's paradise for everyone who passed. But We have to try to do our best to prepare our paradises for ourselves before our time comes. To be 
be busy with that. You be busy with that. Be busy with all of Subhanahu wa Be busy with his knowledge. Ask Prophet what's the best work to the Lord Prophet. Best thing to know about Allah. To think for his beautiful names and attributes. To make zikr of him. To make salah on Prophet. To think about that song. To be with him. To try to find a way to be with him. Even through all the confusion of this life, this hayat of dunya, to try to be with him. Be with Allah. Think about it. Try to give some time for it. Make your intention because Prophet said everything is based on its intention. The results you get will be according to your intention. Oh my Lord, we're intending this life to be a wasila, a means to return to you in the best way. Find the wasila. Get the wasila. This life is our first wasila. <coughs> May Allah make it to be a means <coughs> to come to Him. Prophet, oh, I've seen the whole prophets, peace be upon all of them, and awliya, awliya al kiram, were trying to prepare their murids for the unseen world. Akhira. What comes after this life? Many awliya, they were, although it wasn't ordered, they were leaving everything and going into a retreat, into seclusions, to be busy only with Allah as much as possible. Allahumma salli wa sallam wa barak wa sayyidina Muhammad. Sayyidina wa ibn Prophet was praying, Allahumma jalla mina tawabin. Was saying for this week, use this month to make Tawbah. For everything we did, Allah doesn't like it. And we were going to make mistakes. Allah is merciful. He said, I created you weak. You're going to make mistakes. No one doesn't have sins and mistakes. We do. My forgiveness of for the one who makes sins and mistakes and asks my forgiveness. If they don't do it, if people stop doing that and became angels, I can, uh, what's the word, erase, the, clear it, clear the screen, and bring new ones that will make mistakes and ask my forgiveness, I should forgive them. Because Allah, one of his names, is Afur. Afar, Afur, Afur. He's the forgiver. Who's he going to forgive? The one who makes mistakes. Well, it has to be that. He put at the beginning of this book, but Allah created people. He made some happy and some sad. He made some wealthy and some poor. Some healthy and some sick. So all different conditions he made people. It means all of the conditions we find ourselves are means for us to come to. Prophet said, if I found goodness, I thank Allah for it. It was a reason to be thankful. If I found something wrong, I'm asking forgiveness. They were means to make toba. Like that, everything is a mean to come to him. If we use it like that. Sahaba, Muhammad Sheikh Nazim used to say, were asking for trouble. They said, you're asking for trouble? They were asking for trouble. Because they knew through difficulties, it was a means to climb up, to go up. They were cursing when something happened to them they didn't like, they were happy. It was a means to come closer to Allah. What kind of people were those Sahaba? Subhanahu wa Before the Grand Sheikh, Allah bless him, Sheikh Abdul Aziz Sami, he said to Seeing them in a dream, so if you could see them, you couldn't believe it. Their clothes, you couldn't tell even what color they were.
for it anymore. Reached out and the hearts were so empty, shiny. They came into difficulties. The Quran says about them, they were faced with a huge enemy is gathering against you. What did they say? Everyone is in fear now. I'm not going to make this long. Everyone is in fear. And there's a saying that Malana Sheikh used to say to us. If a person is not going to fear Allah, Allah will make that them to fear something else. If you throw away the fear of Allah, a new fear will come to you. Something else. Whatever comes to us, we have to try to use it. I'm saying this to myself also. Beware, O speaker. While you say it and don't do it, always comes that ayah to a speaker. Whatever happens, we have to try to use it we're intending to use it and asking divine help and holy help to use it as a means to get up, to come closer to our Lord. If I found wood, alhamdulillah wa shukri to that. If I found something I don't like, astaghfirullah. Even the Quran says, say alhamdulillah, even if you find something you don't like, alhamdulillah. Allah likes to hear it and he has power to change he has that power. Everybody is looking to be a magician. How I can change one thing into another thing. How I can change one thing into another thing. How I can do anything. Ask his mercy to make every make us such a people that every situation comes to us is a wasila for us to come closer. Climb up, as Mala said, a, a bridge to get up, to cross over to a new understanding, to a new level, inshallah.